Brittany, we have a question, I think, relating to that from Sylvan Westby. Has Dawn crossed the frost line? Well, so that's actually a really interesting question. So the frost line or the ice line, or you may have heard the snow line, is a, kind of a concept that astronomers and planetary scientists use to describe a concept that somewhere in the early solar system, uh, there was a point at which water ice became stable where when you're building a planet, instead of just sweeping up rocks, like mostly what the Earth and, and Mercury and Mars and Venus, mostly what they swept up to build themselves was, was solid material in the form of rock. Well, there's a certain position in the solar system where solids also start to include ice, where it got cold enough in the solar system for ice to start forming. And so at, basically at that point in time, you can start sweeping up rocks that are actually made of ice. And so we think that that's what's happened in the case of Ceres. So what's interesting is that as we learn about Ceres, if Ceres does in fact turn out to be icy underneath that dusty regolith, then that'll actually give us an idea of potentially where the ice line was in the early solar system. We don't actually know what that position was, and it probably changed in the early uh, in the history of the solar system as planets were migrating around and as the sun was was actually um, becoming more and more energetic. So um, we're not quite sure exactly where that frost line was. And so if we can actually confirm that Ceres is icy at 2.7 AU, then that actually gives us an idea of where that frost line might have been in the early solar system. So it's a really good question. That's actually one of the reasons that we're so interested in going to see Ceres is because of that implication for what water was doing in the inner solar system. That's, of course, important because water is important for us, and it's very important for Ceres, which may be made of, of, uh, of ice and potentially have had an ocean at one point in its history.